Well, it could be SpaceX to the rescue after Boeing bungled its Starliner test flight mission. Two NASA astronauts have been stranded on the International Space Station for seven weeks and counting. And as CTV's Garrett Berry tells us, it could take eight months to bring them home. The days keep ticking by for veteran astronauts Barry Wilmore and Sunita Williams. June's excitement of reaching the International Space Station has transformed into a long wait. And NASA's top decision makers are now acknowledging the pair may not make it home until February 2025. The trip was only supposed to last a week, a demo of sorts for Boeing Starliner program. But helium leaks have plagued the capsules, hurting the thruster system. Boeing has undergone weeks of testing, but NASA officials said yesterday they're getting a bit more unsure that the spacecraft can meet high safety standards and bring the astronauts home. So NASA is now considering whether it should dump the capsule back to Earth empty and alter future plans to ensure an upcoming mission has enough room to bring the duo home. The narrative that we're all having here on Earth is that they're stuck in space because that's a really fun story to tell. But the truth is that they went up there to accomplish a mission. And if you told them on the day they launched, hey, you're going to be up there for six months, they wouldn't have blinked. But Boeing's reputation is on the line. And so is their challenge to SpaceX, which has been doing similar jobs since 2020. The conversation right now that's happening internally at NASA is, do we think that these astronauts should get back in that Starliner and come home on that, thereby sort of ensuring that the, the, the Starliner program keeps going? Or do we say it's not worth the risk? The astronauts are not without food, extra clothing, or work to do, but NASA can't keep them in space forever. The agency says it will make a final call on how they are coming home next week. Gary Barry, CTV News, St. John's.